KCW presents Sesame Street Show 2230, produced in color at Reeves Teletape. gloves on my hands. I stick out my fingers, put my gloves on my hands. I put my gloves on my hands. You see, just like that. Wet, let the cold wind storm, cause I'll be feeling warm when it's cold out. Okay, Maria. When it's cold out, I put my scarf on my neck. I wrap it right around. I put my scarf on my neck. I put my scarf on my neck. You can do it too. Put your gloves on your hands. Come on, try it. Let the cold wind storm, cause you'll be feeling warm when it's cold out. Now, Gordon, now, Bob. when it's cold out, I put my coat on my back. I slip it on my shoulders, put my coat on my back. I put my coat on my back. Come on, you can do it too. Put your scarf on your neck, just like this. Put your gloves on your hands. Come on, try it. Let the cold wind storm, cause you'll be feeling warm when it's cold out. Okay, Tashina. When it's cold out, I put my hat on my head. I slip it right on, I put my hat on my head. Put your hat on your head. Come on, you can do it. You put your coat on your back. Come on, put it on. Put your scarf on your neck, just like this. Put your gloves on your hands. Come on, you try it. And let the cold wind storm, cause you'll be feeling warm when it's cold out. Okay. Oh, when it's cold out, I put my boots on my feet. I snuggle in my toes, put my boots on my feet. I put my boots on my feet. Put your hat on your head. Come on, you can do it. You put your coat on your back. Come on, you do it. Put your scarf on your neck. Put your gloves on your hands and let the cold wind storm Cause you'll be feeling warm when it's cold out When it's cold out Come on, let's go! Well, there's one thing more We go in where it's warm and we shut the door Cold. 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 One, 
two, three. Sesame Street is proud to present Mr. Billy D. Williams and a honker to count backwards for you. Ready? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Oh, why don't you do the last one? Wisest person in the world, what's the difference between all, some, and none? It's a snap, my son. My bowl is full of oranges. That means I have all the oranges. Your bowl is empty. You have none of the oranges, Dig. Yes, but what about the word some? I was getting to that. Right now, I have all the oranges, and you have none, right? Right. I will pour part of the oranges from my bowl into your bowl. Now, you have some of the oranges, and I have some of the oranges. How about that? Now, ah, there's more. I will now pour the rest of my juicy oranges into your bowl, leaving mine empty. Now you have all of the oranges, and I have none. You get it? I think so, but let me run through it again. Good. When we started out, you had all of the oranges, and I had none. Uh-huh. And you gave me part of the oranges, so you have some of them, and I have some of them. Right. And you gave me the rest of the oranges, so now I have all of the oranges, and you have none. How was that? You finally got it. Yeah, and thank you for the oranges. Boy, it took him long enough. Some people just aren't very smart. <laughs> Three sticks. <laughs> Three sticks. <laughs> Three sticks where? Three sticks right here. <laughs> It's a very cold day. I'm cold, too. Maria cold? Mm -hmm. Aw. Elmo want Maria to be warm. Elmo want to be warm, too. But Elmo not know how to make us warm. Well, you know, Elmo, yes? there's lots of ways of staying warm on a cold day. For really? example, the clothes you wear. Mm. The clothes you use will keep you warm. Like, if you want to keep your ears warm, uh -huh. you should get earmuffs. Earmuffs for ears? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, be right back, Maria. <laughs> Here you are, Maria. Here are your earmuffs. <laughs> keep you warm. Thank you, yeah. Elmo. Put them on your ears. Boy, that was fast. Yeah. Oh, boy, now my ears are going to be nice and warm. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So as I was saying, clothes, that's a good way of, of staying warm on a cold day. And uh -huh. food. Ah, uh, food? The food 
foods you eat. Yeah, like you could have a nice cup of hot chocolate or hot tea, Ooh, and that'll keep you warm. Cup of hot chocolate. Be right back, Maria. Elmo. Here, Maria. Cup of hot chocolate, oh. just for you. Oh. Keep Maria warm. Oh, <sighs> Elmo, thank you. You're welcome. Mmm, I feel warmer already. Good for you. But you know, I know, you're cold too, and I was gonna suggest yeah. that another way of staying warm is to go inside and stand by a, a heater or a radiator. Heater? Yeah. Okay, be right back. <laughs> be right back. Wait, Elmo. Be right back. No, wait, Elmo, stay, stay. Huh? What are you doing? Oh, Elmo, go inside, go near radiator, and get warm, and then come back outside to be with Maria. Then go back inside to get warm again. Maria, do the same, okay? No, no, come no, wait, wait, wait. Why don't you just stay out here with me, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, all that running back and forth make Elmo very warm anyway. Well, you know, that's a fourth way of staying warm on a cold day is to keep moving around and get a lot of exercise and that'll keep you warm. That's why you feel a little warmer now. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, but Maria, Elmo thought of one more thing to help Elmo keep warm. <laughs> Elmo just thought of best thing of all to keep Elmo warm. <laughs> What's that? Cuddling with Maria. Oh, yeah. Elmo. <laughs> it's springtime Leaves sprout and grass grows and birds start to sing Walk in the park, take a ride on a swing In springtime Then comes summer Sun is hot, grass is green, there is no school. Bathing suits, lemonade, swim to get cool in summer. Then comes autumn. Red and gold leaves fall from trees every day. School starts in summer, birds all fly away in autumn. Then comes winter Snowman and snowballs Cold hands and cold nose Bright frozen icicles Heavy warm clothes In winter Then comes springtime Then summer Then autumn Then winter And then it's springtime again Old, old. Uh, 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 old, 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 old. Cold, 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 <laughs> cold, yeah. <laughs> 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 is for basket, and bandit, and ball, and various other things here on a wall, such as books, and bananas, and a bongo to beat, a bubble, a beetle, and biscuits to eat, and banjo, and birdie, and bottles of wine, and boxes, and berries, all in a line. But B is for boy, with a baseball and bat, 
who with one mighty blow knocks everything flat. Now, where they are, the fabulous insect for the Beatles! When I find I can't remember what comes after A and before C, my mother always whispers, let her be. She told me B starts big and bad, and ball and bat and battery. Yes, ba 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 means let her be. Let her be, let her be, let her be, let her be. She whispers, ba ba ba, means let her be. And when I feel downhearted, mother whispers B words constantly. Like big bubble, then bubble, let her be. Now in my hour of darkness, there's a sound I know will comfort me. It's the bub 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 of letter B. Letter B, letter B, letter B, letter B. My mother. for you today, Oscar. As a matter of fact, it is a bit chilly, even for a grub. I thought so. But I've got nothing to worry about because I've invented this, the grouch heater. <laughs> the grouch heater, Oscar? What's, what's that? Well, you're just in time to be the first person to help me try it out. Oh, yeah? yeah. Uh, uh, how does it work, Oscar? Well, it's simple. So you just bang on that bottom part there with that big sledgehammer. Right down here? Yeah, you hit that board, see? Yeah. And then that can thing flies up the wire. Oh, I see. Until it hits that clanger at the top. Yeah. It's an old pan. <laughs> All the way up there, see? Mm-hmm. Right. Well, you, if you ring that, then everything will be great. So give it a try, huh? Oscar, what what have you got up your sleeve? I, I know there's some trick here somewhere. Ah, there's no trick. Come on, just try it. It'll only take you a second. Let me <laughs> give it a bang with a hammer, and you'll see what I mean. Oh, well, I, I suppose it'll, it'll only take a minute. Yeah, right. But All before right. you start, you know, you probably should take off those mittens there. It's take hard off. to swing a big hammer like that with mittens on while you might slip. Yeah, I, 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 I guess you're right, Oscar. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take them out here. Could you just hold them a minute? Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, that is really cold. My hands are freezing already. Yeah. Okay. Okay, wait a here minute. Here I go. What? One thing, though. Well, you, you, you really got to wind up and swing to make this grouch heater work. So. Yeah, I know, Oscar. So I think you better take that jacket off so your arms are freer. Take my jacket off? Yeah. Well, yeah. All right, may, maybe you're right. I guess I could probably get a better swing if, 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 if I had my jacket off. He's right. 
Okay, Oscar, will you just uh, just hold it for a moment here, okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, that is cold. You know, that, that wind just cuts right through you. Yeah, okay, well, here I go. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing, Blue Eyes. What is it, Oscar? Yeah, well, I was just thinking about that nice hat you're wearing there. My well, if hat? you swing hard enough, it's probably going to flop off your head and land on that dirty sidewalk, get ruined. You know, better take that off, huh? Oh, oh, okay, Oscar. Oh, just, just hold on. Oh, my ears are freezing already. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and do your stuff. Okay, here I go. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, yeah! Hey, I did it. I hit the grouch machine. I hit the bell. I rang the bell, and now I'm... I'm freezing. What's what's going on? I don't have any gloves. I don't have any hat. I don't have any coat. Oscar! <laughs> keep you warm. It's a grouch heater, Bob. It's supposed to help keep grouches warm. And right now, I'm as snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> Oscar! <laughs> Here we see Big Daniel Boone. See the bear prince? Daniel Boone is bravely tracking a bear. These bear prints were obviously made by a very big bear. Bear prince sure is a big one. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. Here, buyer. Buyer. Where are ya? Boo. <laughs> Beep. 
boat. It's a big boat. <laughs> it's a green boat. Do, 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 do. Big, big, big. Oh, it's a big, big, big boat. Do, 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 do. Oh, I know that. I can tell. That's a bad... Batman! Batman! That's a Batman! That's the bat signal. B is for... What is this? It's a bird! Your bird is nice so far. That's a, that's a nice bird so far. <laughs> It's a bird. It's a plane. Oh, look it's at us say. Super bird. <laughs> Ew. Maybe a super bird. Either a man bird or a lady bird. Oh, yeah. Look, a bee. Bee, bee, bee. Big bee. That's the little bee. I know a lot of things that begin with the little bee. Hi, Gordon. It certainly is cold out today, oh, huh? It sure is. Dude. So cold, I see you've got your earmuffs on. Earmuffs, yeah, yeah. and my little scarf, too. I've been out playing, Gordon. Uh -huh. A nice game of tag with some friends and all. Oh, good. <laughs> but, but I'm a little tired now and, and ready for a nice, cool drink of water. Oh. I left myself a nice, cool drink of water right here for now. <laughs> oh. Uh, you mean this glass right here? Yep. And now I've got my special water drinking straw right here, and now I'm gonna slurp myself up a drink. Just you watch and see. Yeah, well, Tally. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Gordon. Uh, oh no, something's wrong. Something's yeah, well, very no, wrong well, here. Yeah, I, okay, okay, Tally. Wait, wait, just try to figure out. What, what, what do you think happened? Well, I, I left my glass of water right here, but but now there's now there's something else in it, mm. and it's all hard and cold and then I can't even drink it. It's okay, something well, very wrong. Tally, uh, but Tally, <laughs> take it easy. Now I know exactly what happened. I'll explain it to you. It's really simple. Don't don't get upset. <laughs> you see what happened was the water that you left in your glass yeah. froze because <laughs> it's so cold out here. The water just turned into ice. That's what happens when water gets very cold. You mean that this is the same water that I put in the glass before, but yeah. now it's frozen? Exactly. Wow. It, 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 it's just like like magic, but, but without a wand or, or a magician or anything. Well, I guess so. You know what, Telly? Hmm. You have just learned some science today. Science? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's good, Gordon. And I'm going to remember that. The... the 
and, and it's useful and all that, but uh, all I really wanted was a glass of water. Howdy, Parker. Howdy yourself. What can I do for you? Well, I come to see the dentist. Uh, this here tooth here is a hurting me something fierce. Are you the dentist? I uh, sure am. That's me up there. Adam T. Glasser. Mailman, baker, doctor, sheriff, dentist, lawyer, fireman, and zookeeper. You're all them things? Yep. This here's a mighty small town. I do all them jobs because ain't nobody else around to do them. Come on, young feller, just sit down here in this chair and I'll get my dentist tools. Now then, we'll just pop this bread into the oven and wait. And Ooh. before long, we'll have a nice, hot, fresh loaf of bread. Open wide. What? Now, wait a minute. I'm not an oven. Dentists don't use ovens. Bakers use ovens. You're all dressed up like a baker. Oh, my. I'm terrible sorry. I got mixed up. Oh, uh, let's see. You know, I do so many different jobs, I sometimes get a little confused. A little? Yeah, now, let's see. What was it you needed? You forgot? Oh, yes. The dentist. Just one moment. Okay, okay, just open wide and we'll have that fire out in no time. What? Hey, what, are you some kind of a nut? I need a dentist, not a fireman. Oh, I, I sure am sorry, young feller. A dentist, eh? Yes. I'm sure I can figure out which one of my jobs is the dentist one. Let's see. Is it the one where I deliver letters and packages to people? No, no. That's when you're a mailman. Oh. Is it when I go feed the animals and make sure their cages are clean? No. That's when you're the zookeeper. Well, would you give me a hint? A hint? Well, okay, then I give up. A dentist is the man who fixes your teeth when they hurt you. Oh. They ask you to sit down in a special dentist chair. Like this one here. Here, sit down. I'll oh, show you. thank you, thank you. Then they ask you to open your mouth. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, open your mouth. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, now, let's see. Now, let me just look back in there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Did you uh -huh. brush your teeth today? Well, uh -huh. uh -huh. you got to brush your teeth every day, you know, uh -huh. several times. Uh -huh. Once after every meal is best, you know. Uh -huh. Let me just take a look back there. Uh -huh. oh, very interesting uh -huh. back there. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Let's see, you got gold tooth back there? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah. Is that real gold? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. What's going on in the hen house today? It's something exciting to see. All of the poultry is shouting, Hooray! All three waltzing chickens who dance one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, look at those legs. One, two, three, one, two, three, oops, watch those eggs. Turkeys must gobble and donkeys must bray. And geese take a gander to see. <laughs> Something you don't come across every day. Those three waltzing chickens who dance one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, they'll never stop. One, two, three, one, two, three, not till they drop. Aren't you glad you were able to see this three waltzing chickens who waltz like the dickens? This three waltzing chickens who dance one, two, three. And now it's time once again for the weather show. <laughs> And here's the host of our show, that jolly weatherman, Guy Smiley. Hi there, hi there, welcome, welcome to the weather show, starring me, Guy Smiley, and featuring the Yasha Lombardi Orchestra. How are you tonight, Yasha? What? That's Yasha. He's a million laughs. Well, let's get right on with our show. You know, most weather shows just tell you what the weather is going to be like. We actually bring you the weather right here on our stage. And now, won't you give a warm welcome to our first performer tonight, that ever popular kind of weather, rain. Play some rain music, Yasha. Yes, sir, isn't this fantastic? 
six-month engagement in Chicago. Here's our next big guest, Wind. Play some wind music, Gasha. Yes, you're both in that great weather. Wind's good for blowing all the dead leaves off the trees, and it's great for clearing away smoke and air pollution. And let's not forget what wind does for a kite, right? Of course, it is a little bit cold, isn't it, Yasha? Especially if you've been out there in that rain. Anyway, let's have a great big hand for wind. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, Santa Claus's own kind of weather, your favorite and mine, let's welcome snow! Play the snow music, guys, guys! Oh, yeah! Get your folks, here it is! Wonderful snow! Look at that beautiful snow coming down! It's good for snowballs and snowmen! It's all white and lovely and terribly cold, right, Yasha? Yes, indeed! Okay, let's hear it, everybody, for snow! And now, friends, it's time to find out which of our guests you like the most. Now, everybody, clap your hands for the weather you like best. Is it rain? Or is it wind? Is it snow? It's very easy to see that the winner is snow. Wonderful. Everybody enjoys snow. Kids from everywhere love snow. So tune in next week when we'll bring you another kind of weather straight from Miami Beach. We're going to bring you sunshine. Uh, that, that'd be nice. You've been watching The Weather Show. Everybody enjoys The Weather Show. Tune in next week. Mmm. Nose. Long nose. Short nose. Curly nose. Peaky nose. High nose. Low nose. Red nose. Sniffy nose. For goodness sake, blow your nose. Mmm. Nose. Hey, it's nice of you to fix my photo like this. Oh, sure. Hey, you know, I'm going skating right after this. You want to come with me? Oh, no thanks, Big Bird. I'm reading this book, The Adventures of Captain Swashbuckle. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm at this part right now where the captain is on this ship, see, and the bad guys are chasing him, and they're getting closer 
And closer, and they're just about to get him. Oh, boy, that's good. What happens next? I don't know. That's as far as I read. Oh. I'll, I'll find out as soon as I finish here. Hmm. Let's see. Let me just get this right here. I bet I know what happens next. Oh, yeah? What? Yeah, well, the bad guys are just about to catch Captain Swashbuckle, right? Oh. Well, then a giant fish comes by and opens his mouth, and the captain sails right inside. The fish closes his mouth so the bad guys can't see Captain Swashbuckle, and they sail right past him. But then it's dark inside the fish's mouth, so Captain Swashbuckle lights a candle so he can see, and the candle makes a lot of smoke, and the fish opens his mouth and yells, and Captain Swashbuckle sails right out. And that's probably what happens next, huh? Wow. You may be right. Hmm. That's a pretty good story, Big Bird. Or, wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait. I got a better idea. What? Here's what happens next. The bad guys are getting closer and closer, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, a giant bird flies down from the sky and picks Captain Swashbuckle up, carries him away so the bad guys can't get him. And then the giant bird takes the captain home to his mommy because she's been very worried about him. And that's what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, Big Bird. I, I, I doubt that. <laughs> uh, listen, it's all fixed now. Here you go. Oh, boy. Have a good time. All right? Great. Now, if you don't mind, i got to get back to the story and find out what really happens to Captain Swashbuckle. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Where, okay. Mm. Oh, what's the matter, Big Bird? I well, thought you were going to go skating. Well, I thought I was going to, but right now I think I'd rather find out what happens next to Captain Swashbuckle. Oh, well, come on. We'll find out together. Okay. All right, it says, the bad guys were getting closer. Captain Swashbuckle was sure they were going to get him. Then, suddenly, the sky grew dark. The wind began to blow. The rain began to fall. There was thunder and lightning everywhere. Okay. Ah, Captain Swashbuckle is on the ship. The bad guys are chasing him. The wind is blowing. The rain is falling. And the phone rang. Well, so long, Luis. Oh. I'm going skating. Wait a minute, Big Bird. Don't you want to find out what happens next in the story? Huh? I know what happens next. You do? Sure. They call off the chase on account of rain. See you later, Luis. <laughs> You say there are weird sounds coming from one of the pads on your block, and you say you think it's haunted. Well, hold on tight. Everything's going to be all right. I'm Billy Joel Jive, super crime fighting ace. My partner, Smart Susie Sunset, and I are on the case. Sunset and I knew there's no such thing as a haunted house, but we had to solve the case of the Midnight Voices. When we got to the old rickety pad, the wind really started howling. Once we were inside, Jive took out his crime-fighting flashlight. We started to look around, real slow and careful. 
when we hit the living room, we heard this real heavy noise. What's that? Just a loose shadow in the window. Now be cool, turkey. Next, we went into the kitchen. What's that? That's just a clock. Now who's a turkey? Then, Sunset and I spotted some steps. It sure was a scary scene. Wow! What's that? Why, it's a hungry puppy. You know, John, he's so hungry, he looks like a meat bone. Meat bone. That's a good name for him. Why don't we take him to Aunt Nellie's pad? She's one of the best cooks in town. She'll put some meat on old meat bone. Well, I guess we proved that there's no such thing as a haunted house. Yeah, another case wrapped up by the super team of Jive and Sunset. Snow. Snow! 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 From behind the dam Water flows down Turning the water wheel Round and round Providing Electricity for the town, for cooling and heating, and washing and drying, for roasting and toasting, and baking and frying. Water, wind, and sun help the world to run with energy for everyone. Water. Sun, windmills in the air, turning round and round, sending power to us here on the ground for sawing and drilling and lighting the nighttime for TV and radio and keeping the right time. Water. Sun. Mirrors reflecting the sunlight's rays Heating hot water on cold winter days There are so many different ways Water, wind and sun Help the world to run With energy forever Here, how's that, Bert? Well, that's just a terrific snowman, Ernie. Yep, I think this is one of the nicest snowmen I've seen in a long, long time. Yep. Come on, let's go home and eat. I'm hungry. Bert! Hmm? You can't go home. Why? I mean, we can't leave the snowman here. I mean, what if he gets cold or hungry, Bert? Ernie, 
Hey, he's a snowman. He can't get hungry or, or eat. Yeah, but you got hungry, Bert. Oh, but Ernie, I mean, well, he's not alive. He, he's made out of snow. See, there's a difference between things that are alive and, and things that are, well, that aren't. See, we're alive, we eat, we breathe, we grow, but the snowman, he doesn't do any of those things. Hmm. Are you sure he doesn't breathe, Bert? I mean, he has a mouth and a nose. No, 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 Ernie, he's got a carrot that we put on him as a nose. Well, maybe he breathes through his carrot, Bert. Oh, Ernie. Hey, Bert, I don't know. I'm afraid he'll get cold and lonely out here all... Bert, I'm afraid he's going to get cold and lonely out here all by himself, Bert. Easy, easy. And then he'll be sad, and I don't want him to be it's sad, okay. Bert. Okay, Ernie, he, he doesn't feel sad or lonely like we do. See, he, he doesn't have feelings. He's made out of snow. He can't get cold. Yeah, but, but, Bert, the snow is cold, Bert. Ernie, he does not have any feelings. He, he can't be lonely or sad or cold. He can't even feel if somebody touches him. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just check that out, Bert. Huh. Oh, I think I'll tickle him. He'll <laughs> feel that, I'm sure. Tickle, 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 tickle. Nothing. Maybe you're right, Bert. I know I'm right, Ernie. Now, let's go home. I'm getting hungry and I, I'm cold. Okay, Bert. No, yeah, but... But... <sighs> Bert, I can't leave him out in the cold like this. Oh, I can't leave you, snowman. Ernie! <sighs> We just went all over that. I know, Bert. I know he's just a snowman and he's not alive and he can't feel the cold, but he looks cold, Bert. And that makes me very sad, Bert. Oh, Ernie. Mm. He is not coming home with us, and that is final. Oh, all right. But, but Bert, can we, can we just at least put something warm on him? I don't know, a, a hat or something? Ah, all right. A lot of snowmen wear hats. But, Ernie, we don't have a hat. Uh, well, Bert, maybe we could... Uh, Maybe, maybe, Bert, maybe you uh, could just, what are you doing? You just loan him your head Ernie, here for a my second, hat. Bert, just like this. Ernie! There. Now his head looks so much warmer, Bert, but I still think he could use something like a, uh, a, a scarf. Oh, please Maybe, don't. maybe, Bert, no, you'd loan no, him your no, scarf, no. Bert. <laughs> I'm cold, Ernie. Now he looks so much warmer. All right, Bert, now we can go home, Bert, Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't believe this. Oh. Hey, Bert. What? You shouldn't stand out here in the snow without your hat and your scarf. You'll catch cold. But, but, See what I mean? Now, come on home, Bert. But, but he has... He, Ernie, he, he, he...
Look at this. Oh. It's snowing. It's snowing. Hey. The streets are going to be so yeah. beautiful and yeah. white, aren't they? They sure oh, are. Hey. Yeah, and hey. everyone will be able to make big frozen snowballs and throw them at each other, huh? Ah, oh, oh, come on, good. Oscar. Look, we'll all be able to go sledding. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, and all the cars will get snowed in. No one will be able to go anywhere. Oscar, would you can it? Yeah. Look, all the kids can make snowmen now, too. Yeah. Yeah, and everybody will be able to trip and slip on the icy streets. <laughs> oh, Oscar. <laughs> we'll be able to go to the park and make snow angels. Oh, that's good. Snow yeah. angels? Yeah. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters B and N and by the number three. of the Children's Television Workshop. Let it snow! <laughs>